All right, hello, I am one. Um, this is a little uh, explanation on how to do some basic rules with exponents. We will be coming back to this in more detail later on in the year. And, you know, CPM works in mysterious ways, so this is a little bit of a detour from what we have been uh, practicing lately. Uh, but as you'll see throughout the year, this is what CPM does. It, it spirals and introduces new concepts while you're also learning other things. So I just have two pages uh, to show you. So this is um, out of your CPM book number 64. And the topic is um, how do you expand exponents? And the, the thing I want you to really pay attention to is parentheses uh, make a difference. And so we'll get to that in a second. So uh, I'm going to skip A for now. I think you can all do that. We've looked at other examples. So I'm going to start with B. So I'll do this down here. For B, it's 5 times, then the quantity, parentheses, 2m to the third power. And so when you have an exponent outside of parentheses, what the exponent is saying is repeat, basically repeat the parentheses. So what this really looks like is 5, and then we're going to just repeat the parentheses three times. And everything that's inside the parentheses just comes along for the ride. Okay, so um, you could just leave it like that, or sometimes it's customary to uh, rearrange it. Uh, because it's all multiplication, you can use the commutative property of multiplication that says uh, you can rearrange the order and still get the same answer. And it's sometimes customary to write it in uh, all the numbers together from least to greatest. So there's our three twos and a five times m times m times m. My m's got a little messy there. That's how you do b. Uh, c is going to be very similar. So I'm going to uh, let you look at that on your own. And then d, we have 4 times x to the fifth y to the second. And uh, there's no exponent in the 4, so that comes along for the ride. The 5 applies to just the x, so we have 5 of those. 2, 3, 4, 5. And then the y separately has an exponent of 2, so we have 2 of those. So this would be what we call uh, expanded form. So this is exponent form, and this is expanded form. Okay, so that's kind of the basics of how you expand things that are in exponential form. Another kind of question you're going to be looking at is when you have a uh, uh, exponential expression, sometimes you can simplify things. And so I think in the past you've learned about the giant one. I love the giant one. Uh, it's always fun to draw, even though that's probably the worst giant one I've ever drawn. Okay, and we're going to use that to simplify. So the theory here is we could write all of this out in expanded form. So you write the numerator, x times x, and then we have eight y's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's the numerator in expanded form. The denominator in expanded form is only 1x. And then there's 2y's. And what you've learned is that if you have a, a fraction and you have something that's the same on the top and the bottom, like this is going to be a challenge for my giant 1, those two x's because you have the same number on the top and bottom, those basically cancel each other out. And I'm not going to draw the giant one, I'm just going to draw a blob. Those two y's can cancel each other out, and those two y's can cancel each other out. And so all the things that are circled are gone. And what we're left with, I'll just show this in a different color, we still have this, 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 and this on the top. And there's nothing left on the bottom. So we'll talk about that in a second. So what's left on the top is x, y, y. Uh, we lost 2 over y, so there should be 6. 4, 5, 6. And the bottom is nothing. If you want, 
whenever there's nothing, it doesn't mean zero. Uh, so you can put a placeholder of one, which won't be necessary in the end. And the final step is uh, we can put it back into exponent form. We only have one x. We have six y's, so that's y to the sixth. And since there's nothing on the bottom, that would be our final answer.